You're Mandy, I presume? Not bad. Wendy's sorry she couldn't come, but uh, I'm sure I can make it up to you. Oh, that sounds absolutely fantastic. This is some place. Wendy said that you were living in an apartment with your kid brother. Yeah, I couldn't live in an apartment anymore. I'm a Buchanan, you know. I'm still going to need the preferred customer discount, though. We can talk about that later. So, which room is yours? Uh, that's not why I called you, actually. No? I need you to be a swimsuit model. Whatever turns you on, baby. What is it that you want, Clint? <laughs> Buchanan Field. The naming rights for the new sports arena downtown, they're up for grabs. Ah, the rules are very clear. Naming rights go to the highest bidder. Uh -huh. And all the bids are submitted to the mayor's office. So all you have to do, Madam Mayor, is keep me informed. I'm perfectly willing to pay. I just want to make sure that my bid comes out on top. The bids are supposed to be confidential? Supposed to be, yes. And you and I are supposed to be a couple. Dorian, if you don't do this, I'm going to tell David that he was absolutely right, that you and I are not having an affair, and that you are very single. You win. But you might have to play along for a little bit longer. Uh, yeah. How much longer? Long enough for us both to get what we want. Sounds fair. And Clint, nobody is to know that there is nothing going on between us. Deal. What did the doctor say? Do they have any idea, like... How long I have? Um, they weren't very specific, uh, but uh, the treatments aren't working. Dad! I could buy a way out of it, I would. You know that. You can't! You're consoling me. Yeah, I've had a little longer to deal with it. No, no more crying, okay? It's supposed to be a happy day, right? We're gonna have a wedding. You know? Hey, Jack. Did Mom call you? No. She's eloping with Eli. She's what? That's why you guys are crying, right? I just got us two tickets on the last flight to Vegas. I cannot believe we are doing this. <laughs> Who knew that you were so impulsive? Oh, there's a lot you don't know about me. Oh, yeah? I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to figure you out. Mm. Mm. Glenn told us the man that he gave the file to, the man who claimed to be Rex, was tall, dark, and handsome like Eli. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but this woman told me that someone was locked in the ladies' room. It's okay, Rita. You, in there. You, back over there. Look busy. I, uh... I thought you had went home. So Eli is a suspect? Did I say that? That's why you were asking me all those questions about him. I thought you were jealous because he was marrying Blair. Wait a minute, he was there at La Boulet when you were talking to Rex and me about Bennett Thompson. He heard Rex say he was going to Boston. He took off right after Rex left. Are you finished yet? So when Glenn went to go meet Rex, Elijah could have been there heading him off. You're not finished. We better hurry up. We got some packing to do. What do you think? I have a wedding dress up in that closet up there? Who are you kidding? I bet you got half a dozen. Aww. Anyway, I'd marry you in a burlap sack. So you'll tell the police that it wasn't me that attacked you? That it was Eli? I can't do that. But what? You said you'd help me. And I will, with a piece of advice. The reason why I'm walking around right now and not locked up in a loony bin is because I have a little piece of insurance. And I'm not looking for a fight either. I'm just trying to remind you what could happen. If what? Well, if something were to happen to me, I mean, it'd be a real shame if people found out that Elijah Clark was really Bennett Thompson. If anything happens to me, a letter is going to be sent to the Sun detailing everything that Eli did. And you need to do the same. Okay. Write it all down. And make sure it's in the right hands. 
That's the best I can do. And we never had this conversation. Ford. Thank you. Good luck. sense to tie up before we can live happily ever after. Okay. Mm. Bye. <laughs> 